and beer. And over there is Lee Anderton from andertonsmusic.co.uk. And we're very excited. Yeah! <laughs> I'm literally jumping for joy because in this box I've got the Chapman MR3 or Chapman Signature Model in Satin Cherry. And one of these boxes is the Rabia Massad Signature Guitar. <laughs> and one of these is the Rob Chapman Signature in Charcoal Black. Which looks absolutely badass. Yes. Way, so. And this is the unboxing of the brand new Signature Models from Chapman Guitars. And here we go. Should we start with that one? Yeah. No, we'll start with. This one with the black one. Well, we don't know what this is yet. Yeah? This might be black one or it might not be. Okay, well, let's just. I'll pull the top off, and if it's yours, I'll let you finish the Oh. That's right, a nice soft case. Hang on. It's Rebeers. It's Rebeers, okay. Okay. So, this is the result of two prototypes. Yes. One of which was hand sanded by Rebeer and then uh, sent back to Korea for them to check and work out. And which was just... painful. Yeah, which was painful. And this is now the result. I think this is, to date, this is the most prototyped guitar to get it right of every And the most expensive made. in the rank. Yes. So that's how much of a pain in the ass. And it's going from this plastic bag to, to basically touring, isn't it? And more work. Like oh, that. look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the back, look at the back. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's immense. That is immense. They've done a stunning job on that. So yeah, the, we, we changed this thing. We very ever, ever so slightly um, rolled edges, rolled the edge there. Yeah, yeah, not too much because we kind of still wanted to give it that sort of contemporary look, but just take the edge off of the I paint on your arm. I much prefer the colour that this is now. Yeah, yeah. and the, and the colour itself as well is slightly browner, which is definitely I prefer that. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And it's awesome the way they've copied the sanding as best they can on the back. Correct spacing. Yeah. It's changed yeah. space. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you so, might remember on the on the prototype they used a non-Floyd spaced uh, humbucker. Because things happen sometimes. Yeah, but don't worry about that. Uh, so what pickups are these? These are uh, Seymour Duncan Custom mm -hmm. and a Seymour Duncan 59. Wow, look how polished that fretboard is. Wow, it's awesome! It's and I tell you what, like it feels really good. Like well, it's been through the it's been through the QC process. Wow. Like they're all going to go through, um, so they'll all come sort of set up. And it's a tune because yeah. because one of the we have amazing text here. It has my special yeah, face on the back. You gotta love the face on the back. Yeah, which means this must be the satin charcoal black, which is ML three. But it's I'm incredibly excited to try. So I just use my special uh, pick of destiny to open up. Oh, guess what? As well, I'm just going to blatantly stone picks. Only been using these for two years and uh, haven't ever managed to get in touch with the guy that makes them to sell them. What's the word for that's not the same anymore? <laughs> <laughs> So these are now available to buy from Yay! Anderson's. Oh really? Uh, have you got yeah. any in stock? No, uh, but I will have probably by the end of the month. Awesome. Um, uh, they're nine ninety nine each. Wow. And there are three versions: a thin one, oh, a medium oh, one, and a thick one. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get some. So this is yeah, this is so bad. This is the culmination of years and years of dreaming about something. Probably the big one now, isn't it? It's a yeah. It's a mixture of two different guitars in my mind. Black as wow, that is so much lighter. Uh, Feel the cool way. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. It's half the way. It's not half the way, but you know. <laughs> it's, it's lighter. In a man's <laughs> in a man's exaggerated method, it's It is way. about um, well that, that's the story behind that, isn't it? Because oh, wow. um, Rob <laughs> just looks amazing. <laughs> it? Looks when you absolutely um, amazing. Uh, what I asked Rob to do was to go and weigh all of his favourite, favourite guitars. And, wow. and sort of, and we got the average of kind of all his favourite guitars, and we just asked the factory to keep chambering this uh, until it was that weight. So that is absolutely awesome. I nice. couldn't, I could never have, have imagined it would be this much. The, the, the colour, I, I must admit, I don't think I've ever seen a guitar done in that finish before, and it just mm. works. It it's just perfect. looks absolutely incredible. Perfect. Anyway, who's going first into the amp? Uh, me. Oh, we'll go first. <laughs> so we're going to go into a victory amplification. Which T100. is now, this is like 99% correct. Um, this is the model that Guthrie has been touring with the Stephen Wilson band on. Um, and is, uh, as I said, it's about 99% correct before it goes into production. So Just to show you the new uh, metal Ooh. knob oh, yeah. on the ML3, which I'm really happy they remembered. I forgot about and that. And this is me entering my guitar for the first time. Have a pew on this blue I'll seat. I'll have a pew too. on that blue seat. Um, we'll get rid of the cardboard. Can you 
get me a dirty lead cell? What, out of a victory amplifier? Yeah. I suspect we can. Um, boost on, on everything's boosted. Let's do it. Turn the bass down. Uh, resonance, we don't need a lot of resonance. super skinny, but it's not the uber uber ridiculous kind of eye type guitar mm -hmm. skinny, now it's really really nice. Uh, the frets are huge, feels like I'm playing a fretless guitar. Mm. All the controls are exactly where I want them and it looks badass. Look at that. <laughs> this is the most exciting guitar I think I've ever received from myself. Obviously you've got two colour choices. Okay, so, so you should try the other colour choice. Absolutely. Yeah. Because it's going to oh. sound redder. Beer, beer, have a quick chop on that. Yeah. I've had to compensate on the amp. I suspect that's <laughs> probably the, 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 the hot rails pickups and the mahogany body are just it's it's a it's a it's a dark sustainy kind of character. So show the Dario strings mm. coming with, with the shipment of all Chapman guitars. That will go with certain, you know, outfits and that will go with other outfits. So my question to you, YouTube, is which one would you get if you were gonna get one? Both. Both. Yeah, both! <laughs> this one's for drop C and this one's for E flat. <laughs> Okay, we should plug the Rabia Masai model in. I yeah, if you want to, do that right now. Do it. <laughs> shooting a DVD or bits of a DVD <laughs> for the last uh, few hours. It's really good. It's, Does it feel just like when you got it, 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 it feels a little different actually. In what way? I don't it feels warmer. Really? Yeah. Like I'm just wondering why. <laughs> when you say warmer, do you mean as in tonally it sounds warmer or it feels how can it feel warm? I don't know, it just feels like it's played in more. Oh, okay. It, it feels like a guitar that, I don't know, like the finish is slightly different because 
I know when they redid the colour on that one, on the Proto 2, they just coloured over the other yeah. one. And I think the coating's thicker or something, so oh, okay. it actually feels more waxy, more natural oh, than good. the other one. It feels like a really, really nice back to basics kind of guitar. Again. Flip it over this side. So they, they recessed all the black, the back bits oh, yeah, which we yeah. asked them to do, didn't they? Which, uh, and that's, that cutaway is just the same. Like, it's, it's bang on. They've really done they a just, they just. Good. They've got it with lasers. I think they probably do. I they lasered it. I think they probably did take an exact laser copy of the one we sent back. Um, but do you know what? I think the, the, the sort of the colour's got that sort of, it's understated, but actually when you see it close up, you go, wow, that looks like a really expensive guitar. And then when you kind of stand back, it doesn't look too poncy, does yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if this was an ESP or an Ibanez or anything else, you'd, be, you'd look at a lot of money. Well, yeah. certainly with the Seymour Duncan pickups and the proper Floyd Rose on it. So USA Seymour Duncan's and a real Floyd Rose. A real Floyd Rose set through construction. <coughs> and we're selling it for how much? Six, Six forty nine. With a nice kick bag. Yeah. With a nice kick bag. And these are five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. And cut whilst they get the other signature model. Look at the three of us. Now it's the first time ever. Yay! <laughs> Signature bonding moment. So there we go, well, you can have one of these. So that's the Captain, Captain Lee signature model from Chapman Guitars. Yep. Which is pretty much exactly based upon the guitar that you played for years and years and years. It's the, uh, yeah, this is the, this is the ironic, or the irony of the guitar that you guys designed years and years ago called the ML1, uh, ending up being not that dissimilar in terms of tone woods to the guitar that I've had for years and love, which is my HSH uh, custom shop Strat. So all we did was take the pickups off my custom shop strap, put them on an ML1 and change the switching uh, and then pretty much left it the same, um, rosewood board instead of an ebony board. So that's my Cap 10. And this is my signature model, the ML1 beer. And yeah, it's basically inspired by the Washburn N4. And so we just ripped off every other guitar. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's inspired by it. It's got my own kind of thing with the quilt top and the set through instead of it being a bolt on and it's oh, just, just and no pickup rings. And just it's, loving everything about this guitar. The W one three zero 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 seven because it's probably the seventh one they made. ML three. Well, we got you the zero zero seven because obviously we thought it's a James Bond element to it, isn't there? It's the seventh one made and it's the ML three RC. Lights not to be confused. Killed. Not to be confused with the ML three. Which we're going to be designing soon. This well, is, you're going to be designing. Yeah, this wasn't designed by anyone other than myself. So this is what I want in the guitar to take on tour. But yes, you, you will have uh, you will have uh, some options to take a guitar that's sort of you know similar to this, but basically you know do your own thing. Yeah, let me just try the call tone. Do you want to a clean sound or a dirty? Uh, dirty. <laughs> Very cool. I mean, it's um, well. To be honest with you, 
sacrilege says, I haven't really played my Strat a lot since uh, <laughs> I got the Captain. I'm sure I will again, but yeah, it's very cool, it's very cool. So, these are available to buy right now. Anderson.co.uk, you can get them pretty much anywhere in the world. If you live in America, you can order one from our Chapman USA page, which you'll find down here in the description. And we've subsidised the shipping for you, so it's a little bit cheaper to get one from us. Uh, we've got some amazing new friends, part of the family, in Scandinavia. Uh, new retail store helping us out, so if you live in Scandinavia, you want to get Chapman to take order through them. Description again at the bottom here. This is the, what's it called? The, 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 the ML1 beer. ML1 beer, B-E-A. ML1 cap 10, ML3 RC, because my name is Rob Chapman. I've been Rob Chapman. I've been beer. And I've been the captain. Greetings.